I had, you know, I grew up in Canada and we have basements there and playing guitar in the basement was something you had to do as a teenager, so I was part of a, a band and we call ourselves The Episode. So the room is specialised for making electronic music of whatever kind, you know, be that classical or pop or rock. We can have band rehearsals next door, we can have singing rehearsals, we can easily record rap or one person singing with a backing track behind them. So essentially the room can kind of do whatever and we can also take the equipment out of the room and go around the school and record stuff with that equipment. So it's incredibly versatile. When I heard about the idea of building a recording studio, I thought, wow, unleash the talent at, at the college. I think UWCs in general and this college in particular has a lot of musicians and not having the tools to really realize all that potential is probably frustrating for the students and also an opportunity for us. So I, th I think the benefit of the studio is that it's encouraging students to make music in ways that we couldn't previously do at the college. So we've got a really nice setup here with Ableton and MIDI keyboard and mics next door and I think that the kind of physical presence of this room is causing students to try things that they might not otherwise have done. So during my classes now quite often there's one student composing in here using the MIDI keyboard and there's another next door using the amazing synth that we have. And then lots of students who perhaps found music a bit scary before this room makes music more accessible to people. We've got a production activity, so there are lots of students who come in here and are working on producing an album together. There are band rehearsals taking place here. Lots of people are coming and just um, making music, be it for the IB or just for fun. And I come and sit in here sometimes to work because it's nice and quiet and peaceful. I don't think that this is something that the school itself could ever have provided and so to have the support of the Mousetrap Fund is really transformational for what we can do in this department and I'm personally incredibly grateful. The um, building of this room is really timely because this is the first year of the new IB Music course and the new course involves a lot more experimentation, particularly creative experimentation. And previously that was really difficult for most students, particularly the ones who didn't read sheet music. With this room, um, music making and particularly like creating and experimenting becomes much more accessible to everybody because you don't have to use sheet music to use programs like Ableton. So I think that the presence of this studio will make the music course much more accessible to a much broader range of musicians and hopefully enable the students who are less comfortable reading sheet music to do really well. And for me, I've always been a huge believer that the arts are undervalued in education, so it's, it's a great combination for the college, so we're very grateful. I really felt that there was almost nothing for people who like to make electronic music and um, literally people were recording in their dorms um, or in the cupboards in their dorms and so this kind of gives a space for music making that we didn't previously have. It's a whole lot of fantastic equipment um, of a quality that we don't have in the rest of the department. So I just want to say a huge thank you to the Mousetrap Fund who so generously made this room possible. It's already transformed music provision at the college and I'm really excited to see what the students are going to do in here over the next few years. My parting message would be really appreciate how exceptional the opportunity is to have this recording studio, take good care of it and prove that it was a great investment with what you produced in this nice little room. <laughs>